Earlier we saw app root tag in index.html. In this video we will try to understand about this tag. HTML has a feature called custom elements. This feature allows developers to create their own HTML elements. When we create our own custom element, we need to follow a set of rules when we name them. It should be in lower case and should include at least one hyphen character. Here are some examples of custom elements that we can define. Inclusion of a hyphen ensures that it does not conflict with any existing HTML tags. A custom tag must be always defined with a closing tag. So, once we define a custom element, how does a custom element gets displayed in the browser? Let us check it out with an example. In this example HTML file, two custom elements are included. The custom elements are named in lowercase with words separated using hyphen. Border styles are included for these elements to denote the boundary of the HTML custom element. In the browser output, we can see that it occupies only till the width of the tag content and allows other elements in the same line. This behavior is similar to a span tag. Span tag is an inline element. It occupies only the width of its content and allows other elements to be in the same line. I have included a span tag as well to denote that all the three tags have the same inline behavior. This gives us an understanding that a custom element behaves exactly like a span tag. Hope this gives you an understanding about custom elements feature available in HTML. With this understanding in mind, let us come back to the app root tag. Here Angular is using custom element feature to define Angular specific tags. Notice that Angular has ensured to follow the custom element naming convention. The tag name is in lowercase and contains an iPhone character. Angular uses custom elements to include HTML from another file. Hope this video gives the answer to the question we had about app root tag. Next we will try to find the answer for the next question. In the browser we saw that app root tag is included with h1 tag that came from app.component.html. In the next video we will explore how this works.